So they're back. We had recently a lot of bands coming back with big singles and you two in between albums have dropped Atomic City. Premiered in Las Vegas recently, it caused a big stir of emotion because this world <coughs> premiere of Atomic City, a rock and roll 45 in the tradition of the late 70s post-punk, was dropped by U2 with Larry Mullen back on drums. It premiered unreleased song at a surprise free Las Vegas show. And it was on the streets of Las Vegas on Saturday, September the 16th. They did this and treated fans to world premiere of this new song, Atomic City. The track was introduced by vocalist Bono as a rock and roll 45 in the tradition of the late 70s punk, as we'll probably hear now. I featured the return of drummer Larry Mullen, who will be sitting out the band's upcoming residency in Sin City's new MSG Sphere. I think Larry Mullen Jr. is going to be playing the drums instead. In a spot of Deja Vu, the band also took the opportunity to film a video for the song at their pop-up Fremont Street gig back in 87. Do you remember the Irish Quartet filmed their video? I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Well, it was filmed in the same place for the Joshua Tree on the same album. Now, Atomic City was a nickname for Las Vegas in the 50s when the US was testing nuclear bombs at the Nevada site, NTS, 65 miles north of the city. Back in October 22, Bono raised a few eyebrows when he suggested that the time was right for you two to make a fuck off rock and roll album inspired by ACDC. Right now I want to write the most unforgiving, obnoxious, defiant fuck off to the pop charts rock and roll song that we've ever made, the singer told the New York Times at the time. I spoke to Edge about it this week and he said he's going, is it that call again? What call? The one about we're going to write the big fuck off song and I said yeah it's our job. I feel myself that there's a resurgence of interest in the guitar. At the Edge told the Rolling Stone in March. I sort of feel it instinctively. It's starting to percolate again. I feel the timing is right. I think it would be wonderful and very welcome for us to make some music that is more driven by guitar. That's the intention. That isn't to say that we are <laughs> that we are turning into an ACDC. Uh, but we'll find a way to use the instrument in the fresh way as possible. It's still my first love for me as an instrument. And when it came to Atomic City and what it was about and people talking about it, it is, it was debuted, as I said, from the Joshua Tree album. Still haven't found what I'm looking for, the same venue to shoot it. And which was inspired by the city of Las Vegas, hence why they've come to actually sing it there. Um, it's called a one-off single, similar to Invisible, released between albums, but not necessarily tied to any other project. So I want to make that clear. It's not off a forthcoming album, it's just dropped in between. It's a bit like, like what Kylie Minogue's doing at the moment, you know, between Pandem Pandem, she's releasing lots of singles, and I've just released an unreviewed um, and unreleased one. Um, that was didn't make the cut for the album tension that everybody is gearing themselves up for and you choose the same they're doing it Mick Jagger's done the same with anger I'm going to attach it my review it's getting great reviews from people um, to this particular video as well people are coming back and you, it's it's making me very very happy everybody because for many many years I've said the music industry is not dead and everybody said all oh, the great groups are retiring you know Mick Jagger retire soon and with the recent death in the band and also you know you've got Larry Mullen Jr. playing drums now so obviously they're getting to the stage where their sons or other people are replacing them and I said that's not the truth that's not the way they'll probably come back and Jagger and the boys did and so have you too so it's proven the music industry is still thriving and people like Sherry and Madonna are still producing music. The greats are out there producing music. It's just we need to sit back and take it with a pinch of salt and enjoy. When it comes to Atomic City as well, just before we play it, people are commenting already all over social media. 
Some people say the chorus sounds a lot like Blondie's Call Me, but it sounds all right. Great to see Larry behind the drum kit too. Well, I'm a bit confused because I thought Larry Mullen Jr. was behind the drum kit, but we'll see in the video now because it's the first time I've watched it in my entirety. And then other people have said, I enjoyed it. Hopefully they'll drop for streaming service as soon as possible, as soon as possible so we can get a clear studio cut to listen to. Others said this makes me feel and sound old, but I certainly hope there's a little less cell phones being hoisted up in the air during the Sphere shows. Seeing everyone recording and no one bouncing or dancing made me feel eek. I have to say, back in my day when you held the cards and everybody was at the festivals, everybody was dancing, nobody was concentrating on their phones, but everybody wants that five minute review on social media to get the views and oh look what i'm doing and they compare views but you'd wonder with all the money they spend in concerts and on tickets do they really walk away like i've always done in the past with the experience of wow that that was a great concert I had a great great uh time of it dancing and singing to the songs i concentrated on the songs did not on the angles of the phone and I sang and, and other people waved cards and and people said that's a bygone era, era but it was a fun era we didn't have technology ruining it for us and ruin that moment and ruining that moment I'm sorry so it continues is it just me or does it sound like a song that already exists by a different band well we'll see in a minute when I've listened others have said looks like Bono is still working out lyrics and is heard making up a few bits, including blah, 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 as he goes. Well, we'll listen to it now. We're still working out the lyrics above, so changes may happen. Well, I have the lyrics in front of me, so they must have already been um, made. And that's it. And then I'll come back with my synopsis of the song. Let's listen to the live version. Enjoy, everybody. Welcome back, guys, even if it's a drop in between different albums. Get a, uh, a show business interruption. <laughs> a show business interruption. This is Ben, everybody. He's been carrying this machine around. He's back over. Thank you. Okay, let's go. That's it.
I have to say congratulations, Guy, and welcome back. I did hear the blah, 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 did you use blah, blah, blah. I think they just went with it. And it was like, if lyrics come into our head, they come into it. I see where they're coming from, from my introduction to a lot more guitar. That would be amazing on any new album. Absolutely fresh of breath air, just like Mick Jagger and Anger. And he had a lot of fun with interviews, Mick Jagger recently, talking about his new um, video and what's ahead. And I think they're going to have a blast as well. Look, too many uh, weekends that we've read about lying on beaches, guys, when you're so creative. And I have to say, Inhaler, which is Bono's son's band, well, that's how people are linking to it. People always mention Bono of U2 first before they mention Larry Mullen and everybody else. And it's similar with his son in the band Inhaler. They put him as the forefront. I have to say he's going to take after his father's um, footsteps as regards the music industry. If you haven't heard them, I'm going to link an Inhaler video I've reacted to to this in homage of U2 coming back with that. Congratulations, guys. Half the lyrics, let's go through. Debited at Fremont Street there, as you've seen, in Las Vegas, um, on the 17th of September, with the four members. What does it say with the lyrics? Come on, all you stars falling out of the sky. Come on, all you angels forgetting to fly. Come on, who feel we're not on our own. All UFOs come on your way home. So you begin to think the subliminal. In one way, this is the opposite of vertigo. Vertigo is about the facing internal and external struggles that, in the lyrics that humble you before God and reach out for help to be set free. Atomic City, a 20 year apart from Vertigo and Bono on the other side of the open heart surgery, is a man with a complete perspective on life, at peace at what he can't control, like UFOs. And after the catharsis of reviewing his past and handing off the wisdom to his children in both albums of SOI and SOE, we can only applaud lyrics like this and what it's about. Uh, alone, there's no way to be carrying on. Come on, we're better on a future, he says, that's long gone in look of a song. You must have to be the... Okay gone in look of a song you just have to be right one more time then you're wrong atomic city atomic city atomic city so you do you do look at perspective and you think okay is he making a homage to las vegas itself i mean you look at the reference i made that outside las vegas it was atomic city um let's just see now if I can just bring the the meaning up that you know there's reference there I'm just gonna bring it up sorry about this that Atomic City was a nickname for Las Vegas in the 1950s as I said before when the US was testing nuclear bombs at the Nevada test site 65 miles north of the city so why would he mention it then in his atomic city just that it is atomic city but they've turned it around and it's a place he, he talks about his people's freedom in the lyrics as well and he talks about that introspective social look at about look what's happening now in las vegas has gone from testing bombs to this wild city of fun free do what you like sense of this is what we need to hold dear this is uh, this is what's been taken away from us in politics at the moment and they try to divert our attentions to ufos but the ufos have landed they've landed already in the form of politicians they're the aliens that are trying to control our mindset and the way we think at the moment and disparage us and say this is wrong and that's wrong it's wrong. This is the life we deserve as human beings. I almost think he has Las Vegas now as the catalyst from destroying life, testing nuclear bombs, to fulfilling life and, and, and enjoying it. So there's a parallel between the two there. And then he says, I'm free where you are, where I'll be, I'm free. So unexpectedly, 
come on who all serve above and below come on believers and all who don't know come quick come soon come see come sa then you'll dive into your eyes and blah 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 i don't think actually blah 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 was any kind of a reference uh, in my introduction as to him it's like putting your own words onto that come come see before it's taken away come experience this kind of life come and enjoy because our freedoms it's a really subliminal song in a place that might have the joshua tree uh what's that song i've been here what what you're looking for blah 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 i just think it's a place to launch a new message people of the world enjoy your freedom it's it there's a subliminal effect here going on and then the guitar, she pulls the strings, the theatre, Sinatra swings, a choir sings, love, it. love is God and God is love. We're forgetting what love is. So it's almost a question on religion. Is God love? Is God right? What, what do we define as love? What's the roots that make us love ourselves now? People are losing that sense of life and love and perspective. And there's a lot going on here because he says, and if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. In other words, we're being pushed, pushed, pushed into boxes. And what we should be doing is expanding our way of thinking. And what the new generation of social media young people are doing, traveling the world, experiencing life, not being tied to a job, don't care about um, screwed up pension schemes that fail anyway being told to invest all our money and time into these corporate businesses when they all fail the ordinary people so have a dream and live your dream is what it's about and this time when it, now that i see it in a different light atomic city atomic city atomic sun for everybody let it explode let it be that new nuclear fusion that excites you, that gets you going. A bit like them coming back, dropping the single in time for their next album. Get excited again. You too are, and they want their fans to. It talks about the roll of the dice, that's roulette, the beat that has not stopped speeding. Yeah, yeah, keep rolling the dice, keep rolling the dice. I did. I entered the 50 club, given up a pensionable job at Trinity College uh, here in Dublin. And I said, to hell with this. I need to be creative. And I started my music, wrote my books and i feel liberated and i think that's what you two is trying to get back in their fans they're seeing wars in the world Ukra ukraine and russia and others america pulling out of afghanistan and what happened there and turmoil and russia threatening nuclear bombs well nuclear bombs were tested outside where they launched this single but the atomic city is now full of life and that's the nuclear bomb that you two want to send the message out to everybody just explode go with life before it's taken away and your rights are taken away from you because he continues i'm free where 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 you are is where i'll be i'm free so unexpectedly i'm free in other words embellish embellish life and endorse the freedom you have i see what's in front of me and your freedom is contagious what you've got, I want to be. I'm free. It took a whole life. I got the keys to the cages. I'm ready for the bright lights. We all are. Open the cages, everybody. Start living your life. Start forgetting about what social media is saying around the world and politicians. Ignore them. Vote in politicians that think like you. Kill the wokists. Kill all the people that are just putting us in boxes. And go back to the old-fashioned values of having a life, enjoying life, and living for the moment to have great memories before all that's taken away from you. And that's what I think those lyrics are about. You too, you've dropped a bomb. I hope people listen. Atomic City is where it all began for you in the Joshua Tree. And the previous, I hope it happens again with this. I hope your message is heard. Take care for now. Bye-bye.